Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Amanda. And we are serving up all that jam. All that jam. Quick hit. Kate and Sollenberger on what's new with the jaunty. So how are we doing today? Good, good. Um, just had a little rehearsal with the guys and uh, do some teaching and getting ready for actually a run of shows this weekend. Are we rehearsing old material or new material? New. So I guess, yeah, now's a good time to probably say that we are we have been in the studio. Um, uh, we were in the studio a while ago and then we kind of worked on it um, piecemeal and uh, did like all of the mixing and or all the recording ourselves. And then we took in. Uh, took it into a studio, uh, Velvet recording, um, sorry, Violet recording, um, and uh, did uh, all the mixing on like a big console there. Um, so we have a ton of new songs that are coming out on that that we've never played live, but we recorded those like a while ago. So we actually have like a whole ton of new songs that are even newer than that, um, that we're actually going to start playing. We have played a couple of them, um, but we, yeah, we have a whole ton of new material. We're excited about it. <laughs> Is there going to be an album coming out? Yes. So what we were mixing in the studio was uh, the the album that will be coming out uh, hopefully in May, June, somewhere in there. Um, should be dropping singles uh, March, April, something like that. So now when this airs, I guess. <laughs> Very nice. Is it? Uh, do you feel like it's different from what you've done before? Or are you sticking with what you know? Definitely very different in that like we've all picked up uh, some engineering experience uh you know over the course of playing music and stuff like that and some more than others in the group but uh what we decided to do with this one instead of like going to a place and like paying for an amount of time and then uh being you know kind of constrained to that time and the money that it costs to do that uh we actually did it all uh in-house so we you know set up a bunch of sound material and mics and then uh, recorded all the drums kind of with the band. And then we pretty much like overdubbed uh, most of it, which is I think conventional for most people, but uh, it was the first time we had done that. We had always just kind of like time is money. Like we played it until we got a good take. And then that was the take that went on the album with very little editing. So this is the first time that we really like went like, you know, studio style. So uh, hopefully it comes through with a lot more layers and stuff like that, that we really couldn't do live. So. How do you think that stuff will translate to live though? Do you think there'll be um, some things you can carry from the studio to when you get out there and really start digging into this stuff on stage? Right. Yeah. So um, like there's definitely, you know, places that um, are meant to explore kind of, you know, the jam jam spots. Um, but uh, definitely we sort of like wrote parts almost as we were recording them. Like my stuff, for example, like a lot of the guitar parts, I was like unsure as what, of what to do when we first played it uh, for the drum takes. But then uh, by the time I you know finished it, we had solidified parts kind of thing that I think we kind of viewed it as like the studio is its own kind of thing. It's its own way of making music. So you got to like use the tools that are available there and then, to get it to be a live version, you know, we'll just uh, play what we find to be like the core, you know, and then add to it with the improvisational stuff. Right. You're also rehearsing to hit the road. What is that going to look like? Uh, so I think we're going to be doing a little bit of a Pacific Northwest run, um, you know, hit some festivals over the summer. And until then, just kind of hanging in Colorado, getting this album out, doing some shows in the easy driving distance from here which isn't that many places besides colorado really so um but yeah we got a got a couple of really sweet shows coming up uh playing with pigeons in march march 18th and then we're playing at the end of april with this band neighbor who are also uh like east coast guys um so we're really excited to link up with them at cervantes ballroom side on the 28th of april and then yeah between them just kind of getting this out we're really like working through a whole ton of like uh, recordings and remixing them and like uh, getting those on nugs, stuff like that. Does it have a name? The album. Yes. It is called anything. <laughs> um, so we have uh, all kinds of songs on there. Anything pick and choose. 
Anything you want, we'll find a way. Um, why limit yourself, Anything. you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anything. Anything. Um, yeah, we used, to, we used to say, like, like people would ask us what jaunty means all the time. Um, so we would always say things like, you know, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> um, so this kind of goes with that mentality, I think. You may have mentioned this, and I missed it, but um, is this coming out on Color Red? This is not. Uh, we do have a release on Color Red, though, with um, just one track. We went in and just cut like in an afternoon. It was really fun called Dirty Job. That's actually out on all streaming stuff. So, yeah, definitely, definitely check that out right now. <laughs> the Cervantes shows are at the end of March. You said the 28th. So <laughs> we got a Boulder Theater show on the 18th of March uh, with Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. We're opening up for them. And then... Uh, you know, a few things scattered throughout, but then our next like big show in Denver is going to be April 28th um, with Neighbor. Yeah, I'm looking forward to both of those. Um, we actually haven't played the Boulder Theater. We, we've we always done the Fox when we're in Boulder, really. Um, so that, that'll that be nice. It's really, I've seen a lot of great shows there. So looking oh, forward yeah. to it. Hopefully we get some crossover between the two bands that night with uh, Pigeons yeah. and you. I hope so too. Yeah, love those guys. We've played a couple shows with them over the years and uh, man, they always bring the proper energy. If you are enjoying All That Jam, please like and subscribe to our social media channels at All That Jam Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our website, allthatjampod.com. Make sure to sign up for our email list and tune in every week for new episodes. Also, look for full interviews on our YouTube channel. And remember, stay beautiful, but don't stay underground too long.